Hello guys, how are you doing? So excited to 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 this new format that I'm going to do on YouTube in most of the videos. Remember, I'm going to upload the best video of the series, in my opinion, of course. But remember that below the video, below the video, yeah, yeah, below the video, in the description, there's the full series. So if you don't want to get spoiled and you want to watch the full series, you have that option. You have that option. I'm doing this because for the YouTube algorithm, it's better, smaller, shorter videos. You know, hopefully you, you enjoy with the new system. In some situations, I will do the full series, but I will let you know always before the upload. Don't forget, please, to subscribe, thumb up, and leave it a commentary. But subscribe is so damn important. Thank you for watching, guys. We love this game. Whoa. Second game incoming. Game number two. Orlu smile when he sees the civilization. You're gonna smile as well. Because now we have the Mayans versus gods. One, two, three, let's go. Ryud with Mayans. The Max with gods. Is is it's the Max uh, 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 I don't know man. A prophet? What is this? Yeah. He, he knew tricky. that Ryutis was going to pick the Mayans. Oh my god. Mayans are gods. Back in time. Back to the future. Did you like Back to the Future movie? Maybe you are too young, but Back to the Future? Come on, Orlu. You don't know yeah, that I've movie? Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, thank God, man. You can keep casting because if not, I was going to kick you. Kick you. <laughs> what do you think about this matchup, Mr. Orlu? Well, it's interesting. Like, this is usually cited as, like, the single most lopsided matchup in all of Age of Empires. I, I think, okay, if you're playing Regicide Fortress, then yeah, probably. But on Arabia, Mayans can still make a lot of aggressive uh, maneuvers against Goths. I don't think it's completely one-sided, but it's gonna be really rough for it if it goes to, you know, a relatively even game. Like yeah. castle age, so uh, he need to go extremely aggressive, uh, like extremely aggressive in feudal. And if there is a transition to castle, it's smooth. Let's say that we are thinking too much into the late game. But if the Mayans Ryut is getting advantage in early game, and it can happen because the economy for Mayans is much better, uh, he can also make a good transition and go full eagles before you, the, the the gods make the castle up, and then the gods will have no chance. But he's playing against the Max. And the Max might be considering all these situations, all these possible situations. Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty interested. So I think something that you can do with Goths is if they have like a really forward elephant, which is luckily for Riot not the case, like you can just send a villager forward and just kill the elephant. Uh, we saw that, I think, in the round of 64 or something. Uh, but yeah, this... This is still going to be, I think, something that Max is going to need to have something prepared. Otherwise, he could just die in feudal age because his map is uh, quite open. Okay, let's see what is going to happen. Because after the previous game, uh, that's uh, I, I, I wonder how Ryut is going to feel after the previous game. How is going to be his uh, his mindset now for for the rest of the games? Because man, that was pretty sick. And the Max, well, cold finish, man. I don't think so. He get <laughs> nervous ever, man. Or maybe he does, nah. and we don't know. Right. Nah, I think I think the Max is a pretty cool cucumber. Okay, no feelings, like a robot, Mister Orlu. I mean, he he is the the manifestation of the barbarian AI that he created. He created the barbarian. I mean, someone that created the barbarian has no feelings. I agree. <laughs> Four villages on wood on the right side for the Max doing the barrack already. Focus on the economy only. Ryu did need to explore that barra, but he can't imagine that the militias are coming. Okay, man. Yeah. Let's see. Goths, now that they have at least some uh, militia discount in Dark Age, are able to go for that. And then, you know, Ryu's going to need to make sure that he is quick walled at home. I think it's like the same rule as against Celts, where like you would expect a very early drush, so just make sure that your wood lines and forage bushes are quick walled. So, going to, I think, really want to see that here from Riot, but the barracks is being built forward. Well, he's doing the barrack, but uh, like you said, you can't compete with militias against gods. Definitely can't. So, let's see what Riot is preparing, because the gods now is so, so cheap. You can make six militias, pretty much, without my goal. Yes. No? 
Five or six? I think it's only five. I might be wrong, but I think it's only five. I think you it was maybe six. You are wrong. wrong. Look at the goal. Left, 36, and it's, I have four already there. So... Oh, okay. You can six, man. Six militias without mine any goal, and then... And then Ryut is going for militias against the gods. Okay, this is disaster. In my opinion, is disaster, seriously. Yeah, this could be a big issue. And house it. Oh my god. Well, here's the house. The last north, thing okay. you want right now. Oh no. Okay, this is a sloppy play. A very sloppy play, I would say. He's gonna save that Vili, I think. Probably the second is not gonna save it. Well, he's going with more Vilis. Now I like that approach. He's with three militias. But three militias versus how many? Well, he got already five and the scout. He's gonna be able to do six? He can if he want. Well, he can't afford it, but obviously with each militia you create, that does delay your feudal age even more. And you might not want to be like too, too late uh, up to feudal age in this scenario. But still, this is going to be a really, really rough for, for Riot. Well, but he need to he use the villages, Arlo. He need to use the villages, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Riot is still going to be faster in clicking up. Okay, that's good. But he has no goal. So that's good. He can't do anything with those militias. And nothing with the transition to feudal age as well if he's not mining gold. Nope, and that's just kind of the uh, the unfortunate reality if you are uh, an American civilization, because then if you just can't you can't go for scout cavalry, obviously. So everything every single option involves gold. Okay, no, he's just sending villagers forward to take the uh, zebra or ostrich. So that, yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's doing a lumber camp. Another lumber camp. Okay, oh, never mind. Yeah, but 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 I insist. What Ryut is gonna do now? Uh, with with three militias and eagle against five militias, he need to mine gold as quick as possible. He's now moving with three villages, but he still he has no gold at all, and he's coming. He's gonna make a house there. Well, he's trying to wall that area to avoid that he's coming. Yeah, but that's super greedy. Those houses. Okay, let's see. He's doing another now. Yeah, spending so much wood in that, in, the, in those walls, but still, it's okay, obviously, but need more gold, because now he's a feudal age, but he can't really do anything, and the max, with all the militias he did, and sending more, sending more, oh my god, five, six, he need to wall on the right side. He will have double attacks. Also tags. sending four villagers, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's coming all in, man. He's coming all in. And now... He's gonna be in feudal. The militias are there. He's not walling. He still doesn't have the goal to make the men at arm. He's not walling anything. I can't believe what I'm watching, Ryut. Man, he's not walling anything. Billy is gonna get destroyed. One Billy down for sure. And not... Well, he's gonna try to attack there. The militias are coming. There's still no men at arms, Abred, and he could do it. The men at arms, Abred, is gonna be there. And this is not about only civilization. This is, in my opinion, a bad play by Ryut. Yeah, he, he could have been quick walled so much earlier. He could have just been a lot safer. Uh, playing so open and like forward, like trying to create like a really large base, exactly. I think is just a, the exact wrong thing to do against Goths. And now, the, he is, I mean, why you make them the militias if you are not going to make the men at arms? When your opponent is coming with five men at arms, four villages, you have to be careful. He got already one RT range. Yeah, he, the Max is just putting the game in a aggressive position for him, which is the, the, the best can happen because then uh, the, he will minus stone, will try to go castle, he's in a good time. And uh, going for the late game with the gods is benefit him completely. Yeah, definitely. Fletching is going to be in already here for the max. That's going to be super great in terms of just archers, skirmishers, towers, all that stuff is going to be really nice here. He's just going to go straight to the wood line, I think. But why he delete? Make a tower, man. Make a counter tower. Well, he's letting him make the tower there again. While a counter tower would be perfect in this situation, in my opinion. I don't know. I might be wrong. Uh, I think it's tricky because if you go for your own counter tower, then 
the Max comes in with the men at arms and just tries to kill the tower right away, and you can't really take the fight because you no, no, yourself but, but, don't have men at arms. But I don't mean there. I mean close to the TC. You know where the house it is in between the TC and the tower. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, not in the wood line. Not in the wood line. Then, then it's impossible. Yeah, then you die. You are right. Okay. I, I think that. Because this tower, I think, only denies one farm right now. I think he's trying to, to wait a little bit. I mean, it worked out for him in the last game, right? But this is going to be a bit of a different story, I believe. Okay, well, let's see. He has some good arches and skirmishers. He's taking the scout. But he got Fletching. Fletching as well for the Max. He's now mining gold there, but you need to go away from that area. But I think... Yeah, I think the Max, the Max can see that gold. He wants to lame that gold, man. The gold that he just mined in the north... Orlu, the Max want to lame it, man. And he's there already. Wow. Let's oh, see does that mining camp from Riot? That is an awful mining camp. <laughs> well, uh, he's trying to bait into the town center. And, you know, the men at arms are dying eventually. Yeah. Max is still a couple villagers ahead, though, which is pretty sick. Well, he lost a couple of them on, on the goal. That's why he's still there. But I don't understand why. Why he made that mining camp, and then he's completely back with those villagers. He he was dealing fine with the army. He could be taking the gold there. I don't understand. Yeah, little uh, little strange to me, but he's actually taking the gold at the front now as well, <coughs> or like to the right of his archery range. So it feels like Riot's a little bit flustered. Uh, he is also taking the ostrich, which is nice to see. But actually, Riot's looking pretty good in terms of getting a castle age time. That's compared to, exactly. to the max. Well, because Mayans are Mayans, man. In terms of economy, Mayans are Mayans. And, uh, well, he only need the, uh, the goal and he will be able to go up. But, man, explain me. Why he's not walling a little bit the wood line? Why he's not doing a tower in that goal that is completely exposed? You need to secure your resources, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Maybe he's thinking, okay, I'm Mayans against Goths. I need to not play for late game, but... You, you're not going to win right now. And now we have Max actually going to be going for a stable and some scouts as opposed to trying to click up to Castle Age, whereas Riot's clicking up right now. Wow. So there's actually going to be a very like stark difference in terms of Castle Age times, but let's see if the huge Feudal Age, for, feudal age play for Max is going to work. I mean, if he's coming now full army, all the resources for Riot are exposed. If Riot just takes small defense... He's castle it, man. He can go eagles and then dominate. Yeah, like, scouts aren't going to do anything against eagles. Scale mail armor already coming in here for Riot. This isn't looking too bad. He just needs to not die to the scouts right now. Yeah, man. And, I mean, if he's seven villains behind, you, you really don't need a lot of economy for eagles approach. But the scouts are coming. And he can see it. Just wall a little bit the wood line. Let's see if he's going to wall. The Max can see those. Sorry, Ryut can see those scouts. Is he gonna wall the wall? Look, 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 man. He's walling. And. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, he should be walls. fine. He's fine, man. He's completely fine. Full feudal. I'm surprised wow, what he's doing well. now. Wow. He's forging. He's getting bloodlines. Archer's coming in. Defensive tower now coming in. It's not micro those. Three barracks. Oh, he actually saved Three a villager barracks. with four palisades in the north. Lovely. He'll be killing a bunch of skirmishers as well, is the max. Ah, that, that, those are useless now, those skirmishers. Yeah. I mean, the eagles, man. Eagles is the way to go. Look at his economy. It's incredible, man. It's incredible wow. how after all this, now he's on three barracks. We see the eagle warrior squires. And if he just don't get any hold in his main resources, like now in the in the wood line, that he overchop and the scout can kill more and more villages. And he do not notice. I can't believe what oh, I'm watching. Lose another villager right there. Yeah, but he's not pulling that village. If he's getting inside in the wood line, it's the problem. I'm not going to notice. Well, the max is on point. And killing no more villies. You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me, seriously. That's pretty Can I painful. play? Can I play? Can I play the you know? You know what? Go for it. I didn't Go play today it. yet, okay? Thank you, Arlo. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I call it, man. I call it. Memstradamus is on point. It's still, 
it's not that terrible that he's in castle. It's because look at now the max. The max, it's with only two bullets on a stone. That's the bad thing. But uh, still, um, Mayans in this situation is still so dangerous if Ryut play properly. Because the stone is completely exposed. And he only need to send... I mean, look at the tower also there. Taking that wood. Classic well, Max. And the, eagles, the eagles will take over here, man. He just need to go aggressive, really. Siege, put the eagles on Max base, and you kill everything, man. Seriously. Well... Goths can get really good infantry, right? Most of the eagles are just like, trading okay against the, uh, the men at arms, but once Castle Age comes in and Goths, you know, they can churn out a bunch of swordsmen really quickly. That could be a lot less good for Riot than you might think. Yeah, but that way he need to go aggressive now because you need to make the damage now. And uh, Riot. Oh, he's inside with the Eagles, finally. He's inside with the Eagles. And those Eagles can now do the damage if the Max do not notice. He's three Eagles and he can kill Villiers. Then he will get closer and closer. You can see those Eagles now doing the damage. Man, this would be now a really good position for Ryud, really. Mayans transition to Castle Age, being there, killing Villiers. Now he do not notice. Go mine and Abred, one TC full push. And uh, full ready, man. Full ready. Oh, yeah, I mean, Let's see, man. You don't want to sit back against uh, against Goths, right? So I think this is the perfect decision here from Rhea, able to uh, punch his way in. Goths obviously not the greatest defenses ever. Axe is actually going for a second stable, which I find a little strange. But Rhea just trying to loop around. I didn't see if he got arson or not, but regardless, I mean, he can he can get through walls pretty quickly. The trade, the trade now, I mean, if he's doing some damage with the knights, it's fine for the Mayans now with the Eagles, because the Eagles are so cheap, and now Rhea is taking the lead. He's taking the lead, killing the bullets on stone, and he can go away. He has already more bullets than the max and a lot of army, man. Wow. Well, full Arabia, man. Full Arabia. And now gonna take that tower with the eagles. I think this is a good position for, for Ryut if he keep raiding, of course. Yeah, I mean, he's 15 pop ahead, and that's mostly in military. Max is going for some knights, but I'm not, not super sold on that. But uh, husbandry and chainbarding armor, so Max is certainly sold on it. But let's see if that's going to really be able to do anything. Well, if Ryut play properly, he shouldn't, because he got even monks. So if he convert a couple of knights with the eagles, uh, that's it, man. In my opinion, at least. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It, is, is this something that should be fixed, man? The, the watchtower, the villager in the watchtower repairing it? Yeah, that's that's very annoying. I mean, this is a bug that shouldn't happen ever, you know? But the still. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this isn't this is actually a DE thing. This has been around forever. No, for, for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Forever. Yeah, yeah. Th that, that, I think, is a little silly. A little? Okay, it's quite silly. <laughs> exactly. Now, now we are right. Anyway, um, it's a lot of army still, but uh, you don't want to let the gods go in now for the Lone Swords. The knights are coming trying to raid. Where's the monks? I don't know. He got one relic. The knights are now coming to the gold miners. Has to be careful. He's going to convert. No problem. The monk, he converted. Monks are underrated, man. Monks are, well, monks give many games, uh, Mr. Arlo. Oh, many yeah. games. You're talking to the guy who went like... On arena, like double monastery Lithuanians against everything for like a month. <laughs> okay, well. Go full the way to go. Okay, be careful with those knights. He's gonna take those. So that's how you get the 17 plus arena monks, right? Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You see, guys? <laughs> <laughs> guys, you see, guys? You see? Go oh, man. Clown. I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Orlu okay. wrecked. Orlu wrecked. Anyway, oh, yeah. um, he's gathering a stone, but man, the max with more values. Is he going to throw the game? Look at the monks, the monks, the monks! Come on, Micro Ryud, what is he thinking? Losing the oh, monks there? Man. Oh, he saved one, but man, you I mean, he has one TC, only have to pay attention to this area. You need to dominate in this situation. I don't know, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, if the game just keeps happening, then Goths are just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Like, Mayans, they have the way better eco at this point, and their army's probably a bit better too. So, you need to just keep on 
applying pressure if you're Riot, but things seem to just be kind of settling down a bit, which is a little worrying. People, people say, lower your mic, man. My microphone is at the minimum. I need to to lower myself, not the microphone. <laughs> I'm screaming, guys. Even if the mic, uh, the only way to 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 <laughs> to get that quiet is mute myself. I'm sorry, guys, for the screaming. Anyway, couple of monks. Look at those eagles. He's gonna go and deal with with those knights and. I insist. I don't like that Ryud is trying to go for the boom approach. Just push, man. Need to push into his economy for what you say. In mind if he's doing a castle and huge skulls. It's gonna be terrible, man. Yeah, that's I just I just can't agree with that. Second barracks now after coming in from the max, who is still notably only on one town center, and he isn't really mining any stone. So I guess it's going alright so far for Ryut, but this still feels quite strange to me. I think he's gonna lose. Because well, he's he's losing the momentum. Maybe if yeah. he's doing now a castle and doing blue marches combined with the eagles, maybe he can hold. Those two monks are really, really nice. Let's see. And also he's protecting now really well with the eagles, converting the long swords because he has noticed that the long swords probably now are even more important than the knights. But he got a lot of eagles too and another monk. I think he's, he could be able to take the battle. He got a lot of a lot of eagles as well. Let's see if I'm not wrong this time. But the army from the mags is solid and scary right now. Man, I told you, man, that I think Ryut was going to die and now he's dead. Now he's yeah, dead. I mean the the knights yeah, yeah. and longswordsmen, like they're both good units against eagle warriors. Yeah, like, yeah. The, they they have the armor and the attack to just tank them. And eagles in a straight up fight against melee units, that's not that's not what they excel at. I, I I'm asking, why not one TC push? Like look at the amount of wood he has. He's not repairing even the house. Why not one TC uh, push? He's now getting inside with the knights. And Ryut is playing this one. Look at the castle he's doing. Yeah, that castle. The castle he's doing. Okay, I have to play it again. Come on. I mean, that castle. That That's castle. A sad castle. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you recover the tower with the main goal, but you're getting all the pressure there. I mean, he's now going to come to the right side and you kill he's killed everything to you. He has lost seven he's seven villages behind. I still don't know why when he was in Castle he didn't go full aggressive, seriously. Full aggressive. And now he's gonna lose all the buildings, the barracks, the monastery, everything. In that spot, in front of the berries. Or, or, or more or less to these areas when I wanted to watch that castle. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. This is, uh... This is just kind of painful. You have the Max only just now getting his second town center. Has somehow been able to go knight plus long swordsman. Again, like he's role-playing with Bulgarians. Exactly. And just, yeah, yeah. And just somehow just killing eagle warriors. So I mean, it's not that he's in a terrible position because right now Ryut has three TCs, but the problem is not what is happening now. It's what can happen in the future. If the game keeps going longer and the gods is gonna... Because the gods now is not played like, like the gods with Huskas or anything against the Mayans. Of course, he's doing long swords and they are cheaper. A lot of them. The problem is that if the game go for the late game, what the Mayans can do against the power of gods? You need to just raid them to death with Eagle Warriors. That's really your only option. Okay. I, he has a sec he has a stone. He has a stone to make a second castle. Hopefully, he's gonna make, for example, in that hill where the blue marches are, or close to that relic that he just dropped it because he lost the monastery. And uh, well, uh, let's see. He got a stone to make another 800 stone, and it's still uh, need to be some raiding, man. Some great raiding. Okay. Uh, I, I think... Okay, so, like, Riot's pretty far behind, but he's still not dead. I, it's just, he's not really getting any... He's not going anywhere in this game, right? Like, no, he's still I just mean, getting a ton of idle time, yeah. he's not really getting any good unit transitions. Yeah, also he has no horse collar, he's now doing the wheelbarrow, 
Uh, he has 1,000 stone. He's doing now the blast with the guy. Blue marches without ballistic. He's doing another castle. And the castle is where? Uh, to the west of his base. Oh. Why there, please? Why there? <laughs> I want to cry, really. Why there? He got all his economy exposed. Look at the army. He's coming with the knights and the long swords. And he could have the castle here. Orlu, I don't want to scream. I want to be professional, but fuck this. What is this, Orlu? Yeah, I, I feel like that castle is good if you're in like a safe and stable position. Or um, aggressive. Yeah, that that's not... Uh... That, that's not going to help him in the short run. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, ah, oh, I have to put the webcam. I, I, I need to see my people, man. Ah, uh, seriously, I'm, 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 I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed here. We need a castle here. If he did here, he got a castle. He's well protected. <laughs> Seventeen villains behind. <gasps> I can't deal with this, and then he has the castle out of nowhere. With there is nobody, no, no, no castle, no why? Well, I need the the, the headphones because Orlu can't listen. I can't listen, Orlu. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh man, feels bad, man. Meanwhile, the Max is just chilling at home. He's getting, he's just getting up to more town centers. He's on three TCs. He's getting a castle. He can transition into Huskarls. Seems good. Yeah. Well, well, the castle. Okay, the castle is helping now. Okay, he's helping now. The knights are coming. He's gonna take some villages. He's killing. But he was when he did this castle, uh, Orlu. He was exactly the same villages. Look at the villages count now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the max is just chilling. He's getting further and further ahead. It seems like it's been forever since Riot's even been to the other side of the map. Max is now clicking up to Imperial Age. Riet's not, like, terribly far away, but, like, you can't afford to be on the back foot against Goths. It, it's just not something you're going to come back from at this point. Yeah, and you didn't you didn't want to be in this situation against the Goths. I mean, knowing that the Goths is going to go now full Huskals, and then the Mayans can go full nothing. Yeah, I mean... Eldorado Eagles are probably your best bet. I mean, they, they are your best bet, but it's little, uh... It, it's so expensive, and it's so hard to maintain. Okay. I calm down now. Anyway, <laughs> the game the game is in a terrible position now for Ryut. Obviously because with 14 villains behind, his opponent doing anarchy, halfway to Imperial, with a lot of knights, and now Ryut is on the way to Imp with 15 villains less, you know that the situation is terrible one for the Brazilian. Ooh. Oh, and, uh, beautiful the block marches. right there. Look at the Look block at that here. Block Look at that block. Um, okay, I need to play that... another effect. This is for the max. <laughs> yep. Clap, 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 Orlu. Because the max, I mean, Ryu, who have won both games, but we now need to give credit to the max that is playing both games close to perfect you know close he's, to perfect right he's making like all of the crucial decisions and he's like taking fights when he needs to and yeah it's, he's looking really sharp right now gonna be hitting imperial age and that is not gonna make riot too happy he does have a lot of plume nurtures right now and the husk count is currently at zero yeah so oh I, sorry it's at yeah. two it's only crazy and now i only want to tell you something Arlo. And to the viewers, let's say that the Max is within these cities, and let's say that Viper, who is a decent player, maybe win to to leagues. Then we have a group with the Max, with Bakti, with with with, with, with the Viper. It's 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 in another level, man. That that is definitely a group of death if I've ever seen one. Yeah, man. I mean. What the hell? And Dogao, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Dogao is obvious. It was the first the first season. And Dogao, I mean, the groups, the groups are insane for the group stage. Yeah. The yeah this tournament, obviously, like, players are doing their absolute best. There's so much on the line here. And I think that 
as as important as the prize money is, I think like this is probably the most like okay. If you win KOTD, you're probably going to be considered like one of you know, if not the best player, just in terms of overall skill, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, who who win this tournament after now getting this group stage and so on? Uh, number one, man. Yeah. Number one, seriously. We, with the level that we're going to see in the upcoming weeks, oh man. I mean, of course, I'm not the one who, who has to say that. Uh, everyone can uh, give opinions about that. But we're watching really, really incredible levels already. And this is only round of 32. That's the thing. <coughs> round of 32. So imagine group stage, quarterfinals, semifinals, and grand final. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah, th th it's going to be really, really sick. Yeah, it is. Well, really. Okay, I, I will correct what I say. I think that if somebody other than Viper, Tato, Yo, Hera, if, if someone other than those four wins, then I don't think that you could say they're the best in the world, but I think that they instantly become considered part of the top four. You, you didn't say Leary? You didn't say the kid? The kid, man? Oh my god. Baby Leary as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, El Dorado, he's doing El Dorado. Military numbers is almost the same in numbers. But now, elite huge cards plus one, plus two. I mean, those huge cards are plus one, plus two. Ryut keep coming with elite eagles, plus one, plus four. Elite eagle warriors with El Dorado. Actually, 100 HP, they can be solid. And I like how Ryu is now going to rate the goal at the back. The problem for Ryu is one thing. Not only that the Huskas are amazing and the production is super fast, it's how cheap they are. But remember that I think he didn't make the perfusion. Look at this. What's going on? Ryu now ahead in military because those Eagles are super good. And now reading a lot of villains on goal. Is this the comeback from the Brazilian, Mr. Orlo? Well, he's uh, he's doing the correct thing, which is going for elite eagle warriors and then just trying to pull your opponent apart. You know, like Huskars are kind of fast, but obviously way slower than eagle warriors. And Goths, even in Imperial Age, are going to be very, very open. You just can't really afford to take direct fights against your opponent's entire army. So as long as Riot can keep doing that, he can still survive. Yeah, but he doesn't need to survive. He needs to pu pu push. Now with exactly. those Eagles, he's cleaning everything at home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now Ryut, 50 military, 32 is the momentum. You need to go and kill so many villains. Still 22 villains behind, but the good thing with the Mayans, you don't need a crazy economy. Definitely not. And now he's going to find those Lambrias and going to kill a lot. Go and go for Ryut's point of view and see what the Brazilian can do. Full of war, taking all the villains. He has explored almost all the map and he's still exploring. That's a massive loss in the woodland. And now, what the hell? Mayans are Mayans? Damn. Well, Ria's housed, uh, rather ironically. And the thing is, the castles are, you know, they're so far back that they're actually going to be, at this point, helpful. Like, they were really titanic castles earlier because but they didn't help great. defend them at all. But yeah. <laughs> now, now they'll help defend Ezeko. Oh my god. Okay, so he was thinking on the on the late game when he did the castles. Is what you meant? Yes, I, I, okay, I do okay. honestly think okay, that. Okay, 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 okay. No, but but if you check now, check at the mini map. Well, the Eagles are coming and trying to raid. He was doing another castle. There is one rally that he can take. I hope, I hope that Ryu really take the rallies because the the income go from the rallies can be really sick. But I in still insist. It's so difficult with the Mayas versus the gods because now he's transitioning into champions and the champions also eat the eagles as well but he's still raiding and now the village number getting closer and closer do you know what i would love to see if he could have economy to do it scorpions with the mayans yeah scorpions can help uh definitely uh you do get heavy scorpion with mayan although you don't get siege engineers but you know that's it's like you get heavy scorpion and that's the most important thing but the champions, I think, are going to be become a really big issue because they're super cheap, and you can get a lot of them, and they'll really, really just cut through eagle warriors. Well, but uh, but Orlu, then make some plume marches. They are very cheap too. Plume marches and eagles, micro them properly, and the plumes eat the champions as well. But Riot has very little gold income right now, which is the problem. Yeah. Well, well, well. But he's still eating some. Yeah. 
some good, well, some good trade because he got good numbers. Now he's doing well at another TC in the right side, getting more gold. And I still have a stone. Explain me why Ryu now is playing amazingly well. If he was playing this good in the early game, he will have won the previous game and this one. Yeah. No, Ryu just decided to turn on full beast mode. Yeah, man. Now he's raiding all over, not letting the max to push any spot. He's trying to keep raiding. Of course, he's gonna need some arches. Oh my god, if he's getting inside those stone rams in front. Yeah, man, constantly raiding. So many eagles, 51 army. The max 44, 50. He needs 200 pop and uh, and something else than eagles, I think. Or maybe not. We will see. Reed is doing the most important thing, which is preventing the max from actually just attacking with his full army. And the, the sheer openness of this map helps a lot. Because if you can't ever get your infantry to your opponent's base and you can't ever take like a really good straight up fight, then it's gonna be really hard for oh, Goss oh, oh, to wait, actually wait, wait. do anything. He, he's inside, he's inside in the in the oh. most important part, in the farmers, because if he's getting the farmers, look at those. If he's getting the farmers, he's gonna be big problems. No food, no food for, for the max. And now Ryu is raiding absolutely everything. Oh my god, Ryu is ahead 10 villains. The, the military is the same, and now he can raid all the farmers, and that can be absolutely sick. Oh well, oh well, the game is going now in another level. Oh yeah, this is this is really really tricky right now. I think for both players, two extra plumed archers being added in here for Riot, but the champions are chopping through these eagle warriors quite effectively. Oh boy, Th but Max is now down below 100 villagers. Like I was saying, this is exactly what you need to be doing as mines if you have any hope in this matchup. Like, who cares if you know Goths counter your entire army if you just never fight their army? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the resources in the bank for both players. Quite balanced for both. Zero, 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 everything. Like, at the minimum, they don't have any resources. They are reading each other. Uh, 48 farmers. Villains on wood for, for Ryu. One. Because <laughs> look at that's those villains. Like, that's enough for like five castle plumed archer production. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, he's taking the relics now, Ryu. Population, the same for both players. But he's still need to keep raiding as much as he can. Yeah, the problem for Riot is the second he stops attacking, he dies. And it's been yeah. really important for him that he's been able to secure this gold in the far right of the map. And even with Mayans and having longer lasting resources being awesome, it, it's going to run out eventually. And eagles are just not sustainable in the long run versus, you know, goths. And uh, that is what you could call a late bowsaw. Yeah, a very late bowsaw. But man, those blue marches, we forget about that. If he do now, seems he doesn't have a great economy, the max. If now Ryu get good amount of plumes and eagles, he can do it, man. He can really do it, honestly. I don't know what you think, but the, the, the blue marchers will deal with the infantry definitely fine. They are so good, but he don't have many upgrades. He doesn't have elite, but he doesn't have ballistic. No thumbprint, no, no chemistry, missing a lot of a lot of fabrics that are so damn important. Yeah, the one nice thing with the plumed archers is that they're going to be doing a much better job sort of retaining value, as you know, the, the units will have a fairly low turnover rate being speedy archers. So it's gonna they're gonna last longer than Eagle Warriors. But now at this point is Max can switch right back into Huskarls. And like it's not like he has to do any like additional tech switching, right? It's just the same units you know, just hit g instead of s at least those are the default hotkeys but yeah he didn't have the university because he lost it he's doing another he's doing light caps man if he's forced to make light caps this is just good for for real light caps yeah. will do nothing he's doing now thumbprint ballistic he's doing light caps what the hell well 61 farmers but spectacular game now it's it's kind of weird because we know the quality of these players and now he's just playing excellent. Ryu. Yeah, th this is. Uh, I, I think this is an amazing game to show why Mayans versus Goths. It's really hard for Mayans, but it's not like it's like the most impossible matchup. Like there's literally nothing you can do. Oh, look and, at this castle. Look yeah, at this beautiful. Castle. Beautiful yeah, castle. Really good if he's doing. If he's doing, oh, because yeah. right now, look at the Max army. The Max army is insane. He needs to wall a little bit those villages. He got the eagles and blue marches, but those are huge guys that are sick. Let's see if he's gonna be able. I'm getting closer and closer. Military numbers. It's not that that 
that far and now he's there with a the monk too. Look how those plumages are amazing. The plumage is killing a lot of champions, but the Huskas are just sick, best, disgusting, uh, 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 ah, in another level. All of the chicken suit men have fallen in the battle and it's just with goths. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows you just, they just keep coming like the, uh, the energizer bunny. And now at this point, it's going to be, I think, harder and harder and harder for uh, Riot because now you can see that now that Riot is not raiding, he's just really, really struggling to hold on. Yeah, but he's going to have the plumage with, with chemistry. He's doing a good micro. That castle is going to be up. Now he's dealing. The military numbers is still again the same. He's playing now Riot. The same that was being negative about him before. Now I think he's doing a incredible game already for both for sure but more for real that he's with in my opinion with the this with the civilization disadvantage oh yeah uh this is i think just completely impressive he's able to get this castle up i think something that the max has been struggling to do is just get his whole army together Riot's like always fighting with his entire army whereas the max feels like he's fighting with like two-thirds of his army yeah, but look at now. Look at now those huge skulls, how deadly they are. So dangerous. The Plumaches need to go back now. Need to put in the castle. Need to put in the castle, I think. Put in the castle. Nom, GG! Nom, 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 nom. GG call. GG call. Well, well, well. Such a crazy and great game. At the end, he was playing so great. But the gods, he felt that he couldn't do it. That he couldn't do it. And this is what he, he really shouldn't. Should have led to, to get the game at this point, Mr. Arlo. Yeah, that. Uh, I, I'll be very disappointed if this series is a 3 0, because Riot really just. The second half of that game just played out of his mind, but Riot ran out of gold, and Mayans, well, they can't run out of gold. He could have won both games. Yeah. If you think this is 0 2, but it could be 2 0. I don't know what you people think uh, in the chat. It's 0 2. But he could have gone to zero, in my opinion. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, man. Definitely, Great. I think this is a uh, this this is a credit to Riot having that level of play still in him, which I think is. Well, it's I mean, really great to see. Look, look what, what, what look what the viewers say. Also, subscribers say, "Shout out to Ryu. He was being dismissed by Mema Marlo. You, you are not. I don't know what you are listening. Would you yeah. say that he was playing um, the bad in the early game, but now was playing incredibly well and amazing? But we were dismissing him. Well, then you should stop. Did you should stop uh, muting the channel because we are yeah. talking that he could be two zero because he played amazing. So yeah, man. It, it's Statistics. Funny. Yeah, man." That will always have a very selective memory and take everything you say out of context. Exactly, man. Military, 68 largest army, 67. Economy, 10,000 more food for the max. 10,000 more food, 4,000 more wood. 7,000 gold more for Ryut. 7,000. Yeah. But he couldn't against the crazy God's power in Imperial Age. Well, let's go for game number three. That, that is...